Are y'all there? The whole goal is to get your mind up off of this traditional uh, all going to heaven on a little rowboat and understand why you got to have armor for. Why do you need to pray? Why do you need the Holy Spirit? Why do you need to understand to read the Bible? Why do you need to know the Bible? Why do you need to be convinced in what you believe? Why do you need to know how to bind the enemy? Why do you need to know about spiritual warfare for? Why do you need to live right? Why do you need to come out of fornication, which is what these demons do? Why do you need that? Because he's teaching you how to overcome. But well, we think, oh, he's trying to take away my fun. That's a lie from the devil right there. Ain't no fun in sin. That's why I said the wages of sin is death. So that's why we teach be, to become a disciple, to follow Christ, because you begin to learn what the fight is. That's why you raise your children properly, because you're trying to, are y'all there? Now, I'm going to blow your mind, and I'm going to quit. I got to say this, because I got y'all on your edge, and I'm going to push y'all off the cliff right now. Are y'all there? Are y'all there? There was a brother that, uh, he was a, a high-class uh, he was almost like what you call, what the New Age calls an avatar. An avatar is what they call an ascended master. Look at how they're putting this stuff out for kids and getting them indoctrinated with this stuff and getting you indoctrinated and all of these spiritual gurus and ascended masters. We didn't even know. That's all the karate and kung fu was about the whole time. On Sunday, we sit there as kids and kung fu fighting. It was always the, the, the master taught them how to evolve and get into this God conscious state, universal state of the mind, so they'll become one with nature. And karate and kung fu was the discipline or the meditation to get you there. And that's why it always was about I have to avenge the master, and then they become a master. And the masters are saying to this, to the great cosmos, this is what New Age is teaching, this great cosmos of nothingness. And if you don't do it right in this life, they say you, gotta re you get another life and reincarnate, you come back again to reach this God consciousness. Why well, do you think people kill themselves? You believe that? Hard as life is, man, let me get a new life. It's a deception. And this is what, this is what this is people being taught. And what Opening was talking about and when they had Eckhart Tolle, which is the guy who wrote that, The New Earth. The New Age talks about, they were talking about this, when we reach critical mass. This is what all this politics stuff is. Y'all don't even get it. Oh, God, I will help y'all. Critical mass is when uh, the, the majority of the people think the same way. It releases a power. That's why the Antichrist can never come until he gets people to think the same way. So the Bible says he got to get out of the way that which restrains evil. That's us. People who know God. We'll never go quietly into the night if you're real, if you're real. Because the Bible said, listen, now listen now. One can chase a thousand. Two, ten thousand. Why you think he fights our agreement and causes us always fall out with each other? Because in the spirit realm, the agreement of me and your prayer could could mess 10,000 spirits up. So that's why he fights the power of agreement. So he has sown, listen, oh God help me, weeds into the church. The Bible talks about the, the children of the wicked one are also growing up with the children of righteousness. The devil seed is growing up with the seed of the woman. The weeds and the tares, the goats and the sheep. It's all together. And the tares are sowing the seeds into the wheat to get them to believe in a universal God that anything you do, you will go to heaven. God by many names and all that stuff. Say amen. That's why I said we already believe it. We already believe in that stuff. But once we reach critical mass, so something has to happen so that this great falling away, the real one can occur. Now what is it? Gotta close on this. What is gonna cause the great falling away where, where a man will finally reach critical mass in their belief 
And when they reach critical mass, it'll open up a portal to the demonic. So the Antichrist, who's the Antichrist? It's Satan's seed. He's doing what God did with Christ. Christ was birthed in, in, in the earth through a woman. The Antichrist got to be birthed through a woman. The Antichrist is in earth now. He's growing up now. He's probably grown now. Ready for the system to be put in place in order to take a kingdom. Say amen. Are y'all there? Come on, y'all there? And so where we are is we're right at this pivotal place because once wickedness, and you see what, now what has happened, remember that, I'm going to help y'all. And I got clothes, y'all. Dang, I got so much. You remember Balaam, prophet Balaam in the Bible, that King Balak hated the children of Israel, so he went and got a real prophet Balaam to try to curse them. Balaam says, I can't curse them, man. I can't curse them. They blessed. Say amen. Can't curse what God is blessed. Say amen. So, so as long as they keep God's commandments, God ain't going ain't gonna, to ain't gonna curse them. Say amen. But Balaam said, I'll tell you what, there's a way they can be cursed. They can curse themselves. How? By sexual sin. So Balaam, Balaam, Balaam told Balak, have your people go have sex with the men and the women, and they will intermingle. In now listen, why was that important? Because all the other people groups had, de had demon DNA. So fornication was the plan to get them judged. So fornication is the plan in America to bring judgment on the, on the nation. And that's why we have this big gay, gay marriage debate because they're trying to figure out a way to do that and, and not be wrong. But it's wrong no matter what because man shall not lie with man whether you get a marriage license or not. But no, y'all not there. But we've almost reached critical mass in our thinking. Well, we're okay now. So what we need is for everybody to get an agreement. We'll reach the critical mass needed to go ahead and bring the judgment that's on its way. Because fornication is what destroys a nation. Marriage always brings peace and prosperity. So when a nation is full of fornication, they are under the influence of the Nephilim. They are worshiping the fallen ones who created the sexual practices that we were not supposed to indulge in. And with the sexual practices come the black arts from the, from the, from the land of Babylon, which is where we get the occult voodoo and all these other dudes from, Wicca and all that stuff, and earth worship, which is geo worship. Look at it. This is worshiping Mother Earth is witchcraft. We're reaching a critical mass. What do you think environmentalism is? They worship the creature rather than the creator. So what happened? Listen, no, wait, wait, wait. So what happened? God gave them over. Critical mass was reached and God gave them over to defile themselves with themselves and judgment was dosed out because of it. So think again when you say it ain't harming nobody. Think again when you say God know my heart. Yeah, he do. Think again when you hear these arguments because judgment comes because of sin. Sin is a reproach to any people. Have I got y'all yet? So that's why, that's why when you preach live holy, people think it's because you, you, you care about their, them having sex. I don't care. But you not living holy is helping us reap. The critical mass is this. You know the Bible talks about the cup of iniquity. When the cup of iniquity gets filled up, it starts running over. When it runs over, God judges it. The cup of iniquity is the sins of a people, the sins of a nation. So as we continue to oh, disobey God, we're filling up the cup. Once the cup gets run over, his by principle, he must. He must judge it. So we ain't figured out why these tornadoes is hitting the, the nation. 
happens. Unusual stuff that ain't never happened. We ain't figured out why it's back to back. Earthquakes that we ain't never seen. Volcanoes blocking out the sky. We ain't figured none of this stuff out because we have been taught the lie of man is making the climate change. And, you know, the devil got to have a lie to keep us from realizing judgment. The earth always obeyed man until man got in agreement with Satan. When man is in agreement with Satan, then Satan's in charge of the earth. Storms are created by demons. Study your Bible. So the devil is the one that creates storms and earthquakes and all this stuff to destroy man. But the hedge of protection that God allows to happen because man is in, in agreement with the, with, the, with, the, with the God that wants him destroyed. Satan, the God of this world, they're in agreement with him. Stand on your feet. I got y'all. I got y'all. See, the Bible's much deeper than Jesus wept and let's go to heaven on a little rowboat. The Bible's deep. And you need to know what the war is. And let me give you this just for, just for a kicker. You do know that the fallen ones, the Nephilim, inhabit people. They make stars. They make stars because they need to be worshipped. They create idols. So that's why all the celebrities we look at, they always in agreement with the wickedness that go on. Why ain't no righteous celebrity? Think about it. I ain't talking about those talking about they're Christian. I'm talking about those that live holy and don't take their clothes off and don't promote lust and sex and violence. Because the enemy, the, the, the whole point is the, the Nephilim, the fallen ones, get in a place of prominence to be worshipped by men. That's what Satan told Jesus. Fall down and worship me. I'll give you everything. I'll make you famous. So in order for people to be famous at some point, talent and gifts and skills won't get you there. It's the selling of your soul that'll get you there. So the greatest stars are the ones that's given in to the devil the most. So you're not worshiping the devil. I mean, you're not worshiping the person. You're worshiping Satan because you're giving worship to the person and he the one put them there. By default, you're worshiping the devil. Because he the one created idols. He created the idol culture. That's why every race of people, every ethnic group, every continent has an idol culture. Because the, the fallen angels set up over these areas to be idols to the people. So that's why we've got all these different type of names of, of gods. They just fallen angels that inhabit charismatic, powerful people on the earth and use their gifts to make others bow down and worship them. Because they already understood about hero worship and men of renown and they knew about that. Y'all there? <laughs> Hallelujah.